I'm going to try to decorate the little tree that Matt made for me. We went down to the creek and gathered some of the hemlocks, little small hemlocks, and then he tied them all together for me. I'm going to keep it really simple. These are some little ornaments, and I don't even remember what that actually is, if you can see it. It, it come out of um, some beads or something like that, some kind of junk that I had a long time ago, and I thought it looked like a Christmas ornament, so I tied these little little silver um, threads on them. And I used to have like almost like a feather Christmas tree that was real fragile, and I would hang them on it. I don't know what happened to that tree. I think it finally fell apart because I don't have it anymore. So I'm going to hang some of those on the tree. And then uh, there are some, some other ones that I used on that same little tree. I'm not sure I'll use those because I don't have very many that already that are still strung, and I don't feel like stringing them. I might, though. And then I cut out some some papers, just some little paper, not really a snowflake, but just paper designs out of a piece of white paper, and I'm going to use those. So we'll we'll see how it turns out. Now I've got to figure out what to put on the top. I have a little bit of gold roping. I don't know, this come off of a gift or something like that. It's not really roping. I might try to put it, but I kind of like how it looks just like that. So I don't know if I would like the roping or not. Maybe. My problem is, of course, I don't have enough to, to go through the whole thing. Well, that's not too bad, so maybe I'll leave that. Now I need something for the top, though. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Let me think about it. Since everything's so simple, I kind of like this. I could go find a white star, but this is just some little star roping stuff. I wonder if I could just make a little wreath and put it on the top. You hear a bunch of silliness. It's Austin and Corey and Katie in the basement. Katie's working and Austin and Corey are down there and they're just being silly. That's kind of pretty. Hmm. Kind of like it. Okay, I found two different ones. This is one that Granny made. I wonder what it would look like. Oh, I do kind of like that with the white. And then I found one I made a long time ago. Hmm. That one's kind of nice because it's got the green. I think that's I think that's the best I'm going to get as far as that one goes. Because it's just I had to use the branches to actually prop it up there. Okay, I think I think that's it. I think I like it. I think that's the one I'm going to use. I made that one way back, a long time ago, way before I had, of course, a YouTube channel. But I think maybe even before I had a blog. Cause it's been a long time ago. I love stars, so I, of course I didn't, those are little plastic stars. I can't remember what they come out of, and then I glued that green one, painted them, and glued them together. Might have even come out of something according to Katie's, like a little kid toy or something that had stars, and then I thought Christmas ornament, but I think it turned out very nice. I think it turned out really nice. Thanks, Matt, for helping me. Yes, ma'am. They're all so beautiful, so beautiful. Since I first put up my little hemlock tree that Matt helped me with, I added a few more um, little snowflake-like things that I made, so I really love it, and I think the cars just make this area so pretty. When I look at all the beautiful cards, of course the decorations too, but even just the cards, I'm, I've been thinking about, you know, all the Christmas readings I've been doing. A lot of them are from days gone by and, the, you know, people didn't hardly have anything to decorate with. And I just imagine how happy they'd be with, of course, all my decorations, but even just a beautiful card, how that would have just brightened their day and uh, made them so happy. We have so much to be thankful for today. So much to be thankful for.
got a few Christmas related things I want to get done today. But the first one I need to do is I'm going to wash all these beautiful Christmas dishes. Let me hold up the pattern there so you can see. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that just beautiful? So I'll tell you the story of the Christmas dishes. When Matt and I first met and then we first got married, Miss Cindy, she still lived in Black Mountain, Matt's mother. And so when she come to visit, of course, she'd stay a few days and she often come at Christmas. Well, probably her first Christmas, she realized, man, Tipper really loves Christmas because I would just go all out decorating. Uh, maybe put up more than one tree. I have some little trees and of course our big tree and setting it, you know, all my little Christmas goodies along the dressers and in the kitchen and in the living room. So not long after that, she got me and Matt for Christmas one year, this beautiful, beautiful set of dishes. It comes with, there's plates, there's, you know, I guess this is a salad plate, there's the saucer, there's um, the coffee cups, it even comes with the sugar and the creamer, and you can see over here the teapot. Then it has these adorable, adorable smaller little cups and smaller little saucers. It has a big bowl, like the bowls in there, a big platter. It's really, really beautiful. I don't have, my cabinet space won't allow me just to put this in the cabinet, you know, all these dishes along with the dishes that we use every day. So I have it stored under, you know, in my cabinets way back in the back. And that means that it's a hassle to get it out. So, of course, the first few years after she bought it, I got it out every year and, you know, have to wash it all, put my other dishes back under there. It's a whole process, you know, you get the, get what I'm saying. And then after that, I would just do it every few years, whenever I, it was a year that I had some extra time and I thought, I really want to get those dishes out. I've not got them out probably at least in two years, maybe even three years. It's been a while. But this year, once we lost Miss Cindy in June, I don't know, it wasn't right then, but not long after that, I thought about the dishes and I thought, well, I know this year I'm gonna drag all those dishes out and we're gonna use them and we're gonna enjoy them. And I'm gonna get them out at the 1st of December and I'm gonna enjoy them all the way through the month um, before I have to put them back up, just cause I know that, that she would really love it. She always loved it on the years that I did get them out and she was here and we eat, you know, eat off of them, eat our Christmas Eve supper uh, off of them. She was always here for Christmas Eve, and she just loved seeing them, and she'd always tell me how pretty they were. It's really special that Miss Cindy bought them, just because it's a nice gift, but if you knew Miss Cindy, you would think it's even more special. She was not someone that, that did stuff like this. She didn't decorate. She didn't decorate for Christmas. She didn't uh, she was very utilitarian, so she would never have had two sets of dishes so that she had to swap them out. That's, she just would have never <laughs> been one to do that. So it's really special that she knew that um, how much I loved Christmas, and she knew I was somebody that would do that and that I would enjoy them. Really meaningful, and I'm sure they will be, uh, even after I'm gone, for Corey and Katie. And, of course, they know the story of Miss Cindy buying them. So now I'm going to get busy and I'm going to get them all washed up and put my other dishes under the cabinet and get these out so we can enjoy them this year.
that wood goes closest to the stove because it'll dry first, so we'll keep using what's behind it to give this a chance to dry. Well, it's not all that wet. Once it's good and I mean it's got some moisture in it, you got a good fire going, you it'll burn this. It's just you don't try to start a fire with it. You know you can, but right, but you had a better arm. Your skills. Right, that makes sense. What is that, maple? Oh, some of it, I think there is some maple in it, but okay. it's mostly, I guess right here is oak, you can tell by the ground. Yeah, I can now that I'm looking up, I was paying too close attention. <laughs> it sure has been nice, hasn't it? The fire? Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> Can't beat it. It's been really nice. It really has nice. been. I remember we used to have that camp chair and Corey would come down here and lay and it would kind of, it's like a lawn chair, but it would lay back and she'd take her shoes off and she'd fall asleep. <laughs> she'd come down here and she'd be asleep next to us.
We've got more beautiful cards in the mail. We're so thankful to everyone that sent a card and sent nice letters and other things too. We appreciate all of you so much. Matt's going to help me hang the rest of them today, uh, the ones that we've got so far. Uh, we're going to continue on our white cabinet over here and probably put some on those shelves behind us. And then we may even have to move to another wall, which would be really exciting. I wanted to share these little, see if you can see these little girls here that I made many years ago. That one's dressed for Christmas, you can see. Granny, the other day when I went down to see her, she said, come here, I want to show you something I found. And she'd been digging around in the back room and she'd found these little little girls that I made for Christmas a long time ago. I totally forgot about them. But once she showed me, I remembered how much I really loved. You can, whoops, dropped that one. You can see that one's got like a little jumper on, how cute it was making her a little dress. Um, this one's got more of a, like a ski suit on. So I was really glad that Granny found them and shared them with me.
sleep.